At this point, if mainstream media makes some political claim or assert something about someone who's not a Democrat, just assume the opposite is true. And uh, hey, maybe that can improve your life. They say uh, when, when they say Bitcoin is bad and don't buy it, that's when I buy it. And then guess what happens? Yeah, like the other day, Bitcoin fell and they were like, this is it. Bitcoin's over. And then it jumped like five grand. So shut up. Corporate press, they're liars. We know they're liars. We've known they've been lying. And I got to say, it is it is like taking a power drill figuratively to my temple, having to talk about this all the time because we know. But there's more and more evidence. So the reason I think it's important to talk about this, I, 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 I mentioned a few months ago, I was like, why bother even saying the media is lying when we know they're lying? And people just said, because we need to share the videos with our friends and family to prove it. I mean, at a certain point, the dam breaks. You can tell your friends and family the media is lying to you only so much until finally they say either you are choosing to believe lies, you can say to them, or it's time to wake the F up. Let's go back in time. Lafayette's protests, Donald Trump, a photo op. They claimed Donald Trump tear gassed peaceful protesters because he wanted to stage a photo op in front of a church. It's a lie. It was a lie then. It's a lie now. We knew it was a lie then. Now, it is kind of paradoxical of me. I mean, I do use mainstream and, and corporate press sources, but I fact check them. I pull up CNN. Whenever I use a CNN source, it's because it's verifiable. I do that on purpose. And when it's not, I'll either say they're lying or I'll use a different source. Back uh, when this happened, let, let, let me actually just show you the context first, and then we'll, and I'll rag a little bit more. Legacy media suffers a hit as yet another Trump conspiracy theory evaporates. They say legacy media pushed a story claiming that the police cleared peaceful protesters from the area near Lafayette Park in D.C. during a demonstration in order to let then President Trump pose for a photo op. That story has been definitively proven false. The park police cleared Black Lives Matter protesters in D.C. from the area between St. John's Church and Lafayette Park in June 2020. Police used flashbangs and other, and other non-lethal crowd control munitions to clear the area. However, Wednesday, a report from Interior Department Inspector General Mark Greenblatt determined that the park police had planned to clear the area before anyone knew Trump's plans to walk over and that Trump's presence had nothing to do with the park police's decision to clear the area. Police had planned to clear the area in advance in order to install extra fencing after the riots that took place May 30th and 31st, according to the report. Tear gas was used by D.C. police reportedly, but not by park police. OK, uh, I reported that the right wing media, whatever you want to call it. So they, they, they accuse everybody of and anybody who says they're lying is right wing media. Unless you're like overtly socialistic or left wing like Jimmy Dore, even though Jimmy Dore rags on the mainstream media all the time. My politics can be centrist or even center left. They'll say it's right wing media. Well, guess what? Whatever you want to call it. We were right. It was it was it was plainly visible. They had said there were plans to clear the park. We all knew it. But not the people who watch CNN. The people who watch CNN believe lies. And do you think now that this is being proven false? They are going to change their minds. I'm sorry, they probably will not. What's likely going to happen is that they'll double down. They'll ignore the story because these people live in a psychotic crackpot delusional matrix. It really is the matrix, isn't it? You want to know what's funny? There's a story I covered the other day, and it was about vaccinations versus unvaccinated states. All the states that voted for Joe Biden have a very high rate of vaccination. All the states that voted for Donald Trump have a very low rate of vaccination. Now, there was one anomaly. Five states in which many Trump supporters claim there was, flaw, was fraud also have low vaccination rates. I'm not going to get into that whole thing. The, 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 our, fr our good friends over at the Donald.Win were saying that I was too dumb to, to, to notice it, even though I literally said in the video, those were the states contested by Trump, which I literally said and tweeted about. But sure, maybe they didn't watch the video. But what's funny is, the people who vote for Joe Biden are blue and the people who vote for Trump are red and the people who believe the mainstream media are blue and the people who don't trust them are red. And it's just a coincidence that the blue pill in the matrix was the one to keep you in the matrix and the red pill was the one to break you out of it. So you get it, right? This is what we're going to keep dealing with. Uh, I, I don't I don't know what any I, I don't know. I don't know what to do, right? I, I, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. I, I have plans. I have ideas. But every day. When, when I see more and more stories of this, I, I got more for you. Just wait. There's more fake news we're going to debunk. 
I see these stories and I'm just like, we know. How many, pe- how many of you are like, Tim, we knew this? I know. Well, here's what you can do. So there's a reason for me doing these videos. Share this with your friends and family. Just keep doing it and keep being like, hey, you were wrong. Hey, you were wrong. And let them just bask in their cognitive dissonance. Look, maybe they'll just keep saying, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Okay, well, then you're a conspiracy theorist. Just say that. Look, the IG said this. Well, that IG was, he's trying to please Trump. So you think there was a conspiracy? You think that Trump colluded with the existing interior, uh, 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 what is it, the what is it, what Department of Inspector General, Interior, uh, Interior Department of Inspector General was colluding with Trump or trying to please him? That's a conspiracy theory, you crackpots. Just show people, be like, dude, what do you expect? This guy worked for a bunch of different administrations. He did a review and said it wasn't true. The media pumped out fake news without fact checking. All right, I know what I can do. And uh, here's what you can do. Go over to TimCast.com. Become a member. Join the members only section. You know, a lot of people may have noticed that they're not getting notifications for these videos anymore. So hit the like button, subscribe, the notification bell. But that's a reality. YouTube's under no obligation to, pr- to promote my content, and they will likely stop doing it. It serves a purpose for them, I guess, but they're political ideologues, these companies, and they are going to hurt channels like this. I'll tell you what we're doing. We've got some uh, journalistic prospects coming out for work. Uh, we're gonna, we, we have to do very rigorous Q, uh, Q, uh, quality assurance, vetting people who come to try and work. But TimCast.com is launching a newsroom. It'll be very rudimentary to start in about a week or two, hopefully about a week or two. It'll be very rudimentary. It's going to be a lot of aggregation, but fact checking. So we'll take a look at a lot of these stories. We'll take a look at how they frame things. And then we are going to just aggregate and fact check a lot of these stories. Very rudimentary, not too dissimilar to what a lot of uh, you know organizations already do. However, the first people who start are going to actually do legitimate journalism. On top of that fact checking, they're going to be compiling more information, making those phone calls, adding more to the story, doing the real groundwork. And then we're quite literally going to have people doing groundwork. We're going to be covering stories of particular interest in cultural news, politics and technology, sending out reporters. And we will have that newsroom at TimCast.com. It's the only thing I can think to do. When I look at these stories where we know they're lying, that's what we're going to do. If you want to support that endeavor, it's greatly appreciated. Become a member. You get access to the exclusive Timcast IRL segments because that's what we're able to produce right now. It's basically full episodes of the podcast where we have guests and uh, we say things that YouTube doesn't allow us to say. We, we would get banned for it. Well, we're going to have a newsroom and we are going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to push this thing as far as possible. It's with your support. We make that happen. Go back. Let's go back to the Daily Caller now. Let's go back and look at what the, what's going on with this fake news. And I, 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 know, I don't normally do the plugs for TimCast.com on this channel, but I, I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to do something. I can't just sit here and be like, ha ha, look, they're lying and just react to lies. We need to actually do something. That's it. That's what I'm doing. I am making, I am, I am pushing to build this website. I'm going to be hiring people. I am going to counter the lies, call them out, counter them. More than we're doing now, we will actually do hard reporting on a lot of these subjects and bring you fact-based news. I'll tell you one thing that's really fascinating about the media. If I get, say, a former CIA agent, a CIA intelligence analyst or whatever, uh, with, with decent credentials, and they claim that Joe Biden did collude with Ukraine or something like that, I will be called fake news by these fact checkers. They'll say it's not true. And this is a lie. Even if I have a source within the CIA saying it, if I have a source within the CIA, same guy, but he comes out and says Donald Trump colluded with Russia, the fact checkers would say true and correct. That's it. That's the, that's the bias of the establishment. And there's no way around it. There are, I was reading one website that was accused of being a crackpot conspiracy website. And they did push conspiracy theories. They, you know, talk about 9-11 and a bunch of other stuff. But they actually had legitimate sources from people who worked in the military and worked at the CIA and worked at the FBI. And I did think a lot of the stories were, were wingnut level stuff. Hard to verify outside of some, you know, former employees statements. Here's the issue. I take a look at a story where I see it's like former FBI agent says aliens are real or something, right? And I'm like, yeah, sorry, I don't buy it. I take a, look, take a look at the New York Times and they say sources familiar with Trump's thinking say that, you know, he wants to steal candy from babies. And I'm like, sources familiar with his thinking? What is what are you on? That's not evidence of anything. That's not even an FBI agent. Who are you talking about? What does NewsGuard say? Fact. 
True and correct. What does Snopes say? Verified. True. New York Times can come out and say some random bloke you never heard of, and we're not going to tell you where he even worked, says this. Great. You want me to go in an alley and ask a bum what he thinks about aliens and then publish it and claim a source close to Kamala Harris's office? Yeah, close as in proximity to the dumpster behind it. That's what they do. And there's no escaping it. So if I get legitimate sources, how about this? Jack Posobiec. He had a source tell him that the White House wanted to fire Anthony Fauci. Oh, the media will claim he's lying. But Sobic literally has sources in the White House. James O'Keefe, they'll say he publishes fake news. He literally published a video of the person saying the words. You see how the game is played? I can't expect that we'll get a fair shake when we're covering the news, when we launch our newsroom, because the mainstream press and their allies, big tech, are suppressing the truth. Welcome to La Resistance, my friends. The people who believe the lies in the mainstream media, they want to believe it. They don't want to break out of the matrix. It's scary. I mean, come on. You guys saw the matrix. That guy, Cypher, he's sitting there and he's eating that steak in the matrix. And he's like, I know it's not real, but mm, it tastes good. Yeah. Some people want to be in the matrix. They don't want to be broken out from it. The real world is scary. It's, it's better to be in the warm bosom of the establishment elites who will take care of everything for you. You don't need freedom. Freedom is, is disaster. Come on, you guys remember what Loki said in, in the Avengers? I'm bringing him up now because the show has actually just started. And he said, uh, freedom leads to ruin. You know, when people make choices, they regret them. You know what? He's not wrong. It's true. No, I, I, it's true. There was a study they did the, where they told people to come in and do this survey. The people thought the survey was the study. They said, you will get a free t-shirt for taking part in this survey. One group left and was given a free yellow T-shirt. That was it. After they left, they asked how satisfied they were with their, you know, uh, uh, T-shirt. And people said, yeah, very satisfied. They then gave people in a different group a choice between three different color T-shirts. And afterwards, they asked people how happy they were with their T-shirts. And the level of happiness was lower because people regretted their color choice. When they were given only one option, just the yellow shirt, they were happy with it. Hey, I got a free shirt. When they were told to choose yellow, green, or blue, uh, I'll do blue. Then they leave and go, "Ah, I should have done green. I don't want blue. So I'm not a big fan of using that as an argument to say we should take freedom away from people. I think the bigger issue is people need stronger will. You walk out with a shirt, you should just be like, hey, free shirt. Uh, Maybe I should have taken the yellow one, but hey, free shirt. That's the attitude you got to have. It's not. It's not what we get. You get the mainstream media lying and the people who want to bask in those lies. They don't want to let it go. Now I'm going to say something. I'm going to get into a story that's going to get us in trouble here on YouTube. That's right. YouTube does not take kindly to some of these news reports and they've threatened to ban people. So I have to say it. Become a member at TimCast.com. I'm going to show you a story that YouTube, I might get a strike over this, showing you a fact-based news story about a scientific study could get me banned. The first thing I want to point out, this aged like fine wine from the Hill in 2017, Trump administration seen as more truthful than news media. Now, this is just after Donald Trump, you know, started his first term. But there were many polls like this. People felt that Donald Trump was more truthful than than news media was. Yeah, they're right. They were right. Here's here's more. You ready for this one? Study shows This is from the Washington Examiner. Study shows hydroxychloroquine and zinc treatments increased coronavirus survival rate by almost three times. Now, I I, I looked into this and this is what I want to I want you to understand what I'm doing when I'm these these leftists like to say all I do is is read other people's articles and people on the right when they get mad that I criticize someone that on their side, they say he just reads other people's articles. This is funny. We're launching a newsroom. What do you think BuzzFeed does? Yeah, they do some original reporting. What do you think this video is right now? Okay, I've pulled up a variety of sources. I'm breaking them down for you, giving my thoughts on them. It's an analysis piece. And that means these sources I've looked into, I fact checked. I read the statement from the IG about the the, uh, Donald Trump and the photo op. And I can tell you the IG said it's not true. Study shows hydroxychloroquine and zinc treatments increase coronavirus survival rate by almost three times. It's according to one study that is not yet peer reviewed. Okay, that's important. But it still is a study. 
And it's interesting that it's coming out now and coming out in the press. It doesn't mean it's definitively true, but it does mean that if Donald Trump comes out and says, have you seen these studies about, uh, they're calling it hydroxychloroquine? When he comes out and says that, he's not making it up. He's talking about studies that have actually been done. Now, could there be more rigorous peer reviewing? Sure. Are we ready to implement these? Maybe not necessarily. Are they safe drugs? My understanding is yes, but you should always talk to your doctor. That's the big thing, too. Then I can understand when people are like telling people to take medications. No, 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 no. A study says it's safe. The next thing you should do is ask for a medical opinion from a doctor. If you're not comfortable with the opinion, you can always get a second opinion. I say this. These are normal things you can do. But was Trump wrong when he said, you know, that this was promising? No, Trump was 100 percent correct. He wasn't he wasn't telling people to do it. The media lied, though. There was just a study. It was it was TechCrunch that reported. They're like in France, this study is, you know, this medicine seems to be helping. Now we have another study saying the same thing. YouTube might ban me for this. We're not allowed to have these conversations. YouTube doesn't 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 allow it. Now, okay, fine. YouTube is uh, is massively beneficial, you know, to me. It's it's free marketing. So I make these videos, and then I tell you, you got to become members at TimCast.com because hey, I could get banned, and that could all dry up. And I'll tell you this. If we do get banned from YouTube, you know, I think we'll be all right with TimCast.com. I think once we launch this newsroom and start putting out stories that will get shared on social media, we'll start moving up very quickly in the ranks, and that will help us grow beyond the confines of the manipulators and the liars and the constraints. A lot of people were complaining that when we did the podcast episode with Elijah Schaefer, it didn't appear. And for some reason, it's not appearing in the playlist. Yeah strange how that how that how, how that happens. Oh, they always just say it's a glitch. It was it's just a glitch. Yes, sure. Always a glitch negatively impacting anti-establishment and conservative voices and sometimes anti-war and libertarian voices as well as some leftists who are anti-war as well. That's the dirty game they play. So we got to build something of our own. Now, of course, Timcast.com is still going to exist on other people's infrastructure. What do we do? Well, we can at least try YouTube has hard and psychotic rules. They just took down, I, I, I'm hearing this, I don't know, I, I haven't checked, but a stream from Crowder got taken down. He's lucky he didn't get a strike. One more strike and they're going to nuke his entire channel. What can we do? We got to push back on this. Now it's scary. I'm not going to back down. I, I, I've long said it. There are some things I won't say because they're nonsensical. You know, or, or, I, It would be nonsensical to say, right? There's a certain name you can't say on YouTube. Still, to this day, you can't say the name. Why would I bother saying it? It's not newsworthy right now. And you can Google it to figure out who this person is. And uh, it has to do with the Ukraine, Ukraine scandal. There's no, I can avoid saying the name, which is dumb. And I think it's horrible. But if, if, if I have to say 100 things to you and they're all of the utmost importance, foregoing one of those things, it's the least important to get you 99 things, I think makes a lot of sense. But it is a compromise. Some things I can't compromise on, like a study coming out saying hydroxychloroquine and zinc increase survival rate according to a study. That's science. We got to follow the science. Again, not peer reviewed, just one study. Take that into consideration. That's the fact checking I did. Right now, you're seeing all these stories saying the study says, the study says, and I'm like, well, it's preliminary. It's not peer reviewed. These things have been retracted before. You know, there was a study claiming, uh, uh, I, I think hydroxychloroquine was bad. It got retracted. I think the Lancet published that. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, the point is, it's not definitive. We got to we got to have we got to scrutinize a lot of these stories, but I'll, I'll dig into these things and we've got to do more to push back. I can't ignore this story. I wouldn't do it. Otherwise, what information would I be really getting to you? Now, of course, there are a lot of uh, people who are diehard Trump supporters who don't like that I cover their stories. We can talk about election fraud. The problem is I don't have any definitive proof. And when people come out, they're like, did you see the latest developments from, from Maricopa County? I had Matt Brainerd on my show on IRL at TimCast.com telling us, buckle up, it's going to get crazy. But he wouldn't tell me what they have. So I can't tell you what happened. Only that the people working on it are saying, oh, it's going to get crazy. Yeah, I've heard it a whole lot. Give us the evidence. Then I'll come out and say the evidence is real. But I'll tell you what, we at least still had that conversation. We had the conversation YouTube would not allow us to have. At the very least, we can have that conversation. So I, I'm not trying to be uh, in any way express any animosity towards Matt. No, I'm grateful that he was here. It was a great conversation. I'm just saying, if you want me to come out and say something definitive, you got to hand me something that I can look at, that I can prove, that I can verify. 
coming to me and saying, I'm sorry, it's under wraps for now. Okay, then the moment the stories, the evidence comes out, I will fact check it. So you get these people right now on the left, they do it all day. They don't like that I criticize Antifa. Well, now I've got people on the right saying, Tim doesn't even look into these stories. He has no idea what he's talking about. It's like, bro, I look into the core arguments of all of these stories. The story about uh, uh, HQC, I went to the study. It was, I think it was MedRx, but it was not peer reviewed yet. Okay. Have any of these other outlets pre- presented that saying it wasn't peer reviewed? Maybe, maybe the examiner said, uh, did so. MedRx IV, that's what it was. And uh, let, let's see if they include peer review. They don't. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like they've included peer reviewed in, in their story. But let me see if they've, if they've updated it as of now. So uh, this article is a preprint and has not yet has not been peer reviewed. What does this mean? It reports new medical research that is yet to be evaluated and so should not be used to guide clinical practice. Examiner didn't, didn't, didn't put that in there, did they? I mean, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I should I should read through their specific article. I use their article just to show you the story exists as a, as a citation. I'm not reading through everything they said. Okay, that one you can criticize me for, for sure. I went to the source material and then decided to show that examiner was, was actually showing the, the science around it and what they're claiming. They say the observational study found that anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine, along with zinc, could increase survival rates by at least 200%. Okay. It's not peer-reviewed. Peer review isn't the end-all be-all. So there you go. They mentioned that several other studies released that year have come to a similar conclusion. The point is, I'm not just pulling up a story, reading a headline and ignoring it. I read a couple different stories that said this. My understanding was most of them don't mention peer review. And then I looked at the study and I read that caveat. And that's something that they'll bring up to try and discredit you. None of us are perfect. I like the examiner. They're not perfect. They're pretty good. I like a lot of, uh, uh, there's a lot of right-wing sources that get it way better. The Daily Caller does a really good job calling these people out. It's tough. How do we, how do we break through the noise? You can share this video with your friends and family. You can become a member and help me uh, uh, keep doing that work. And I can just keep calling it out. But it does feel like, you know, we're not just Sisyphus pushing up that, pushing that rock up that hill. We're actually sliding backwards. That's what worries me. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at youtube.com. Uh, next segment's coming up here, youtube.com slash timcastnews at 1 p.m. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you all then.